if you know what's causing the problem. Well, what do you do when there simply aren't enough nurses in Maryland to go around? For some area hospitals, the answer is find them in foreign countries and then offer them salaries they can't refuse. But do patients then get the best of care? Tonight, 11 I team reporter Deborah Weiner exposes the controversy. Filipino nurses are filling Maryland's major hospitals, east meeting west to plug the hole left by the nagging nursing shortage. It is a critical labor development that at least three major Baltimore hospitals did not want to talk about. Good afternoon. This Ivy Passis is one of 64 Filipino nurses okay. working at Hopkins Bayview Medical Center. A public health nurse in Manila, she brought her family here last year after taking four qualifying exams. Hopkins paid for her visa, put the family up in this apartment complex, and generally helped them get settled. In exchange, Ivy agreed to work for Hopkins for two years. Hopkins is investing an enormous amount of money in each of these people. Mm -hmm. On average, seven to 10,000 a person. That's about right. The cost to bring Ivy here, 10 times her salary back in Manila. I was paid for about $1,000 for a year. And yeah, $1,000 for a year. And as compared with what we have here, it's nothing. They work very hard and make a great contribution to each of their individual units and to the hospital as a whole. Many Filipino nurses send home a large portion of their paycheck, a benefit to their families and the struggling Philippine economy. In Baltimore, they are so valued, this church recently honored the Filipino nurses for their contributions. Why the Philippines in the first place? Well, nurses there are literally educated for export using American textbooks and bringing them here has helped make a difference in Maryland hospitals. The vacancy rate for RNs, which once peaked at 15%, has just hit a five-year low of 9%. Maryland's Nurses Association, led by Katherine Hall, welcomes the help. The more nurses we have, the better care patients can receive. If you show them how you care about the patients, I think that's the proof that you're a professional. You don't have to show them the papers. But Dr. Art Kaplan, who runs the medical ethics department at the University of Pennsylvania, has concerns about foreign nurses in general. One of the biggest reasons for malpractice suits is that people feel they weren't communicated with properly. So when you have language barriers, it just adds on to further problems. We raised this issue with a group of Filipino nurses. We still have an accent, but you know, we understand. We know and we have also learned to clarify and verify is this what you're saying and those are the cues that we give to the new nurses plus one of the qualifying exams is written and spoken English now from my perspective what do American nursing students think of this trend we talked to a group at the University of Maryland School of Nursing did you initially wonder about their credentials I did yeah certainly and I was actually shocked to hear that some of them are actually physicians in their own country we get our labs has anybody gotten any ice for the ABGs why not train more nurses okay. here because many schools, like Maryland, don't have enough right. teachers. Critics argue it's an expensive way to fix this problem and may not be a long-term solution. They are spending a lot of money and it absolutely comes out of your pocket, my pocket, everybody else's pocket. Money that they would have spent in another way, but in this way they're getting a highly qualified nurse. At Hopkins Bayview, none of the Filipino nurses hired over the past five years has moved back to their home country and more are on the way to hospitals all over the state. If you need anything, I'll be right For the 11 News I team, I'm Deborah Wiener. You're welcome. And while the vacancy rate for nurses has subsided, it's estimated in five years, the state could face a shortage of 13,000 nurses, meaning more foreign nurses could be imported. A group of